baby. The watermelon mint G Feel flavor. Let's try it. What is up everybody? Today we're gonna be taking a look at the new reskinned Watermelon Mint G Feel flavor. And while it is a reskin of Dub Melon Mint and technically not a new flavor, I myself have never tried Dub Melon Mint or Watermelon Mint. So I'm actually really excited because I love the original watermelon flavor and the Matrix The One flavor has a little bit of mint in it and it's also a melon flavor, which I really like. So I've got some high expectations for this one. But before I crack this tub open, give it a taste as well as my thoughts you know what time it is G Feel code Danny D is 20% off at gfield.com. Using code Danny D not only saves you some dinero, but it also supports my content and allows me to continue being a full-time content creator. So if you use G Feel code Danny D or you're planning on using code Danny D, I appreciate you. But without further ado, let's try some G Feel. Here is a better look at the new watermelon mint G Feel tub. Again, this is a reskin of Dub Melon Mint. And by the looks of it, it does not look like the design really changed much from the Dub Melon Mint skin back when it was a content creator's flavor. So that's really only the big change. The only thing to note is again, I have not had Dub Melon Mint, so if the formula changed at all, I wouldn't know. And as a friendly reminder, the G Fuel Energy formula is 15 calories, 140 milligrams of caffeine, and zero sugar per serving. We got a nice clean tear there. Let's pop the seal. Ooh, we got a little hiss. And I always like to remind people that I take this funnel off. You don't have to take it off, but I just don't use them. That's a funnel for a water bottle. You're only supposed to fill the scooper up to the top of this line. So if you're filling up that funnel, you're giving yourself like an extra half serving of G Fuel, if not more. That will result in powdery G Fuel, just a heads up there. And today I'm gonna be using my clear ninja shaker because I wanna show you the color of the G Fuel when I mix it up. And inside I've got 16 ounces of water and a very generous serving of ice. Before I throw a scoop in this shaker, let's just Give the tub a smell here. Hey, I'm getting the smell of watermelon, very similar to the watermelon flavor that we already have, with a very light, pleasant mint smell. Definitely giving me like mint gum vibes. The original watermelon flavor tastes like a watermelon Jolly Rancher to me, so I would not be surprised if we have like a candy mint watermelon situation here. Scoop of watermelon mint going in. Boom. Very simple design here. It really looks like they took that watermelon tub and threw some mint leaves on there. But I really love myself some watermelon, so I'm excited, man. All right, now before I shake this up, comment down below what color you think the G Feel's gonna be once I mix it up. I'll give you like five seconds. All right, let's shake it up. Oh yeah, baby! All right, we got this bright, vibrant pink color. Definitely reminds me of Classified V2 or Tiger's Blood, if you will. Let's give it another smell. Oh yeah, watermelon Jolly Rancher smell with a little bit of mint. Surprisingly, the mint smell is very light. I thought it would be stronger. All right, watermelon mint G feel going in. Oh yeah. Yeah, baby. Definitely getting like a cooling effect from the mint. I don't, I don't remember the brand of the gum, but there is a brand of gum. Comes in one of those little car holder containers and they're like little round, almost egg looking pieces of gum. And inside they have like a minty watermelon juice and it's, it's a watermelon mint flavor. And that is exactly what I'm tasting here. I honestly thought there would be a little less mint, maybe 60, 40. Yeah, I would say like 60% mint, 40% watermelon. And not as strong of a flavor as I was expecting. It definitely dissipates very quickly. It's really refreshing. It definitely has that watermelon taste that I like from the original watermelon flavor, just not as strong. I also do really enjoy that cooling effect. It just makes it that much more refreshing. Definitely gives me those winter vibes. And that mint taste paired with the watermelon just gives me that refreshing, starting anew type vibe. And that's perfect for New Year's. If you like watermelon, I think this flavor is a must have. I think the only people who aren't gonna dig this are people who just can't get over the fact that, you know, mint is also the flavor of like toothpaste and stuff. I know some people who say they don't like mint ice cream because to them, it's like they're eating toothpaste. So if you're one of those people, you might not like this, but I feel like most people are really gonna dig it. And I think it'll be a welcome addition to anybody's G Feel collection. And with those thoughts, I am gonna give the new watermelon mint G Feel flavor an 8.5 out of 10. 
very, very solid flavor. I don't think it's gonna be like a huge daily drinker for me or anything like that. I definitely think I'll have it every once in a while. I know it's a flavor that I can't drink while I'm eating anything or after having something that's not gonna go well with mint. For example, have you ever brushed your teeth and then had some orange juice? Yeah, that doesn't taste good. And so I'm definitely only gonna drink this if I know I'm not gonna be having anything else that's gonna clash with it. If there was one thing I could do to the flavor to raise the score, I think maybe balancing out that watermelon to mint ratio closer to a 50-50 instead of like a 60-40 would definitely make fans of watermelon flavors such as myself probably a little more happier with the flavor. I think I would drink it more if it was like that. But for what it is, it's freaking great. And once again, G Fuel has given us a flavor that just makes it that much harder to decide which one to pick up and make. There are so many flavors. But let me know what you think down in the comments. Did you pick up watermelon mint? And if so, what do you think? What would you rate it? And what's your favorite watermelon flavor? Because mine, watermelon limeade. Unless we're talking about cans, then I think it might be flavor bomb. Also, there is no better way to start off 2023 than by getting yourself your very own Danny Dorito 23 G Fuel Shaker. Also, if you've not tried G Fuel before and you don't know where to start, I highly suggest getting a Danny Dorito 23 G Fuel starter kit. You get my shaker along with seven different flavor sample packets so you can get your toes wet. I always feel weird saying that expression, but I think it makes sense. Stay tuned for more G Fuel reviews very soon. And also before I go, I just realized this is the first G Fuel flavor that I'm reviewing for 2023. So I just want to say happy new year. 2022 was literally life changing for me and I cannot wait to see what 2023 has in store for G Fuel and for us as a community. Also, 23 seems to be my lucky number. So this year might be the year of the Danny D, whatever that means. But anyway, that's the end of this video. As always, stay safe, be nice to each other out there, and I will see you very soon in the next one. Peace! Ah, that just might be the most refreshing G Fuel flavor ever.